how's it going everybody it's your boy the phoenix and today today i will be showing you guys how to build an automatic kelp farm and if you follow my create mod survival series this farm would be would be really familiar to get to you guys because i built this exact same farm inside my create mod survival series well so yeah this farm is actually really 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 simple to build all it, all it takes is a couple of observers, a couple of pistons, and that's that's pretty much it. So, yeah, it's a really compact-ish sort of design. And as I said, I built this farm inside my Create Mode Survival series. Definitely go ahead and check it out. It's actually a really, really cool little side series I'm doing. And, yeah, I built some amazing contractions over there, by the way. You go ahead and check it out. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, yeah, there's the farm. There's the farm. And now let's jump straight into the tutorial. Alright, now to build this farm, it's actually really really simple. So the first thing you have to do is find out a place to build it and place down 7 pieces of sand. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Just like that. And then what you gotta do is go behind the farm and place in some temporary blocks just like this right behind the sand just like so. And then once you, once you have that, place down pistons all facing towards the front of the farm. So just like so. And then grab out some permanent blocks and place them right on top of the pistons. Cause make sure these are permanent blocks because this will be you will be able to see them from the front of the farm. And next what you have to do is go up top and place in a row of observers facing so that the dot is faced into the back and the and the face of the observer is uh, in the front so just like that and then what you gotta do is build up a little bit of a sort of like a casing around this thing so place down some blocks just like this and then I just like to place some glass right here in front of the farm uh, so that I see what's going on inside the farm. So let me just place down these pieces of glass. Just like that. And now what you have to do is place down water right on the face of these observers. Just like so. And boom. Do it all the way across so that there are water source blocks right in front of the observer. And then what you have to do is build up another little row just like this, extend the wall up one more block. And then right on the level like right here where the observers at, right next to it there's a block right here. So right here place another block so that there are two blocks right over there. So on one side pick any side which you want, it doesn't really matter, then grab out some hoppers destroy this block and now the water will start flowing place down a hopper just like this going into that block and destroy this block because this was all just a temporary block destroy that and then place another temporary block right over here and then place down a chest right over there just like that and you can make it a double chest if you want so boom just like that now it's a double chest and now you can destroy that, those two blocks because those were just temporary blocks. And now what you have to do is grab some slabs, any old slab, and place a slab right on top of this chest. Oh, that's a wood block, sorry about that. A slab right over here. And then on the top face, top part of this observer, right, right here, place down a slab and do it for all the observers you have. So, like so, there we go. So now the water should still be there because slabs don't take up the space of one whole block. The next thing you gotta do is place down a water source block right on the on one end and make sure that the place where you place down the water source is not the side with the hopper. So if you have the hopper on the right side, make sure you place the water source on the left side so that the water flows towards the right side. So place down a water source block right over here and the water should go all the way on top of that hopper. And once you have that, you can go ahead and destroy the slabs you place down. You place down because they were just some temporary blocks. 
And now we are almost done. All we gotta do is now link up the farm so that it is functional. So the way you do that is actually really really simple. Grab out any bolts, any blocks, it doesn't really matter. And place down a row of blocks right over here, right under the observers. Just like this. And then another row right under the pistons as well. And then right here where the pistons are, grab out some repeaters, place down some repeat repeaters just like this, all facing towards the back of the piston. Once you have that, place down another block just like this and then extend this block, extend another row of blocks. Once you have that, grab out some redstone and place the redstone dust on, on top of all of these blocks. And yeah, just place down the blocks just like this and boom, boom, and boom. There we go. We are done. We are literally done with the farm. So now all you gotta do is place, yeah, is place down some kelp inside the farm. So just go inside, grab some kelp and start planting kelp on the sand block just like this. And there we go and that my friends is how you build the farm. Hi I'm back cuz I made a stupid mistake. Yep. Um, I built the floor on the wrong level. So yeah. So what you gotta do is destroy this layer of sand. Just like this. And then build build the, uh, the floor on this level so let me just destroy this level right here so that there is a so that there is a layer for the sand just like this let me just place them down just like this so there's a layer for the sand to grow sand and then on this layer right here this will be the layer where the uh, kelp will be planted and right here there's a, a layer row of pistons a row of blocks and then a row of observer blocks just like this so yeah just move the, the floor down by one block and yeah and there we go my friends that is the whole farm all done and yeah that this farm is actually really good and yeah if you want uh, infinity amount of kill make sure to build this farm it's actually really really simple to build it early game as well the only hard thing to get might be the observers, but hey, if you have some quartz lying around, definitely set this up and then you will get infinite uh, kelp. So if you want to create a dried clay, that, like if you want to get dried kelp from this, uh, instead of having a chest right here, and there we go, the farm actually worked, that's why it lagged a little. Uh, lagged a little. So place down a hopper right here and then place down a, uh, a furnace. And then put some fuel inside the furnace and then you will get right cup from this. And yeah, this hasn't been running for that long. But, and I have play, accidentally placed a full block right here. Make sure not to do that. That was a mistake. Make sure it's a half slab. And just like that, we get, get got some kelp. So, that's the farm. That's the whole farm. If you want to, like, increase the rate of the farm. Um build more i guess build another one of these things right next to it i mean right opposite to it and then it will yeah you will have twice as small kelp so and also make sure that the farm is loaded at all times so if you want kelp make sure it is loaded and yeah that that's that's the farm so there we go and that my friends is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did you do know what to do Please be sure to go down below and hit that like button and also consider subscribing if you haven't already because according to YouTube over 85% of you guys who watch my videos are subscribed. What is that? Definitely go ahead and subscribe because I do Minecraft videos weekly actually. Yeah, I do weekly Minecraft, Minecraft content. Definitely stick around for that. And also if you haven't seen any of my survival series, I will link, leave them linked down in the description. Definitely go and check it out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it's in hopes to see you guys in the next video. I will catch you guys later.